Hi guys, welcome back to Lean Over Winter episode 6. As I said last week, this week's session is going to be with one of my most prestigious clients. This is Marina. Marina's been training with me since May? April. So we're like seven months uh, been training together now. Um, she's lost a lot of weight. She's been lifting real heavy. She can do kickboxing. We're all working our way onto um, pull-ups now. She's squatting heavy, deadlifting heavy. So she's just absolutely smashed it, as you can quite clearly see, um, just by committing to this uh, type of training. Four times a week, obviously, is what I've recommended that you do between three and four. Um, and we do plenty of this hit stuff, what we're going to do today in our session. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into five minute warm up. And then this week's session is going to be basically a solely partner workout. So everything that we're going to do is basically going to be working together. So we're going to do a lot of core stuff, a lot of leg stuff and a lot of upper body as well. So let's get straight into our warm up. So we'll go with some star jumps. So 30 seconds on each one. And just so you know, Marina's already just finished the personal training session today with me, so this is like extra for her. Bad idea. Obviously, I'm charging her. No, I'm not No, you're not. <laughs> okay, good. Ten more seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Let's get down to the floor. So, just going to do some shoulder taps now. So, in the push up position, alternately tap your shoulder and just start to warm up upper body as well. That's a good warm up the second time. Okay, 10 more seconds. We're getting from this. <laughs> Five, four, three, two. One, that's good, come up. So now we're going to go with some lunges with a twist. So we lunge out with one leg, we slowly twist over the outside of the leg, come back in, bring the other leg out, twist over and repeat. We're just going to warm up core along with the legs as well for this one. So start gently and then gradually get more into those lunges. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, should be just one more in there. Two, one. Okay, good. So back to upper body now. We're going to go back down onto the floor. And this time we're just going to rotate our side plank. So we're just going to go from left to right, or right to left. Twenty more seconds. Good, last ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, good. Come up. So the last thing we're gonna do, last thirty seconds, just start jogging on the spot. Get those knees nice and high. And just go for a few punches out in front as well. Just finish up with the upper body. Good, bring those arms back in. Just power 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, rest. So warm up done, as you can hear. We're already quite, quite out of breath, quite warm. Definitely got a bit of a sweat on. How about you? Yeah. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go straight into the first partner circuit. So we're going to do two separate partner circuits. Each one's going to be three exercises, one upper body, one core and one legs. We're going to do each circuit twice round and then we'll have a little cool down. So it'll take about 20 minutes. So get some water ready, get a towel and then we'll go straight into the work on. We need to explain it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay guys, so welcome back to the actual workout now. So as I said, we're going to do two separate circuits. They're going to be upper body, lower body and core. The first partner exercise is going to be one where you're using legs and you're going to be doing a partner squat. So it looks like this from the side. You grab the alternate, sorry, you grab the same arm. So we're both right to right. And all we're going to do is we're going to squat down together nice and low. Come up, 
We're going to do some 40 seconds, but 20 seconds in, we're then going to swap the arms, all right? So what you want is you want to get nice and low, legs probably double shoulder width, with the feet sort of pointing a little bit outwards. So we're going to be in this position, basically, not quite a sumo squat, so not too wide, but I'd probably say at about 45 degree angle like this, okay? And then you're going to squat together. So that's exercise number one. So we're going to do that for 40 seconds, but 20 seconds in, we're going to switch the arm, all right? Exercise number two is a core exercise. So one of us is going to be down in the sit-up position, one of us is going to be down in the plank position, holding their feet, so it's going to look like this. So, one of you is going to be doing the sit-ups, and then the other is going to be holding the plank position. And then we're going to swap who is doing what exercise halfway through, again, so 20 seconds on each one. If you find that holding the normal plank on the forearms is difficult, then you can come into a high plank position, which is basically just the same as push-up position. So just come on a, into the normal push-up. And you can adopt that position if it's easier. So that's exercise number two, so great partner core exercise. The final one, this is going to be a partner push-up, all right? So rather than the traditional push-up where you say tap a hand when you come up from the push-up, it's going to look basically like this. So get stable before you try this. And then once you're comfortable in this position, come up into a high plank or push-up position, and then you're both going to press at the same time. 40 seconds. Good. You have to go slower. Okay. So, those. Is... <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. so, so, those are the three exercises we're going to do. So, 40 seconds each one. We're going to do 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest, 40 seconds, 20 seconds rest. And then finally, after our last exercise for 40 seconds, we're then going to take a minute, properly recover, and then do the same circuit again. We're then going to do another circuit a bit later on with three different exercises and go into our cool down. So, ready for the first one? So, partner squats in three, two, one, and go. Easy. As it feels to be squatting again. After squatting with that barbell. Three, two, one, and change arms. Smooth transition now. Easy. So you can, if you need to, you can keep the opposite arm out for stability. So in five, four, three, two, last one. Okay, good. So relax now. So you probably noticed that we're getting a little bit of a lean back just so that we can support each other when we go down. You don't want to be too upright so that when you both go down together, you can use kind of each other's weight to counteract the fact that you're going to be working together. So, 10 more seconds rest. I'm going to go down into the setup position first. So, three, two, one, and go. Five, four, three, two, one. Make it good. Right. So, exercise number two, over. You can probably feel the heart rate right now. How's yours? Pretty high? Yeah. Good. So, 10 seconds. We'll go for the partner push ups. Be careful setting this up. Obviously, the person that's heavier ideally wants to be on the bottom. So their legs are going to be the one that are underneath the light versus the legs want to be on top. So in this case, obviously, Marina's going to be taking my legs. So, no. <laughs> okay, ready? So, 
Three, two, one, and go. Good, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, oh. and rest. Woo. Well done on those full push ups. See, these strict push ups since like June, I want to say. Easy. Okay, so first round over. Oh, I have no choice. Yeah, she has no choice. You've got to learn to do it. You know, we, we don't until we finish the session. Anyway, so take a minute now, get some water. God, that last one, that push up one was great. Whew. You want to start playing, eh? Yeah, maybe we should reverse rounds. Mm. The last one was not very long. I'm doing the best I can. Let's see that you can do a few. Okay, so round two now. So, you know, the exercise is a little bit faster this time, pick up the pace a bit. So, in five, four, three, two, one, and go. Oh, she knocked on the legs this time. Oh my god! I just had a session. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we haven't got dongs yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Nice. Good, last 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Last one. Good. So, 20 second rest. So, you need to take a little bit longer, that's fine. 30 seconds, maybe even 40. No longer than 50 to a minute, though. So, keep the rest short and the work long. So, set up position time. Three, two, one. Three, two, last one. And relax. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's good. good. Okay, so first round done. We'll come back in a couple of minutes. Three completely different partner exercises. So take a couple of minutes now. Let's go get some more water if you need it. Get a towel. 
chill out for a bit, and then tune back in for the next one. Okay guys, welcome back to part two of Lean Over Winter episode six. So what we're gonna do now is a completely different part of the circuit. So again, three brand new exercises core, upper body and the legs. So the first one we're going to do is kind of a moving plank slash box jump. So what's going to happen is we're going to get side by side in the plank like this and try and start as close to each other as you can. The person on the left is going to go first, come up, jump over, get back down into the plank, repeat, jump over, good. one more time, good, and back up. Once more, and back. So, as you can see, we've basically got the perfect number of jumps, so we're both going to be going the same amount of jumps. So, basically, I'm going to start, I'm going to jump over once, Marina will jump over once, I'll go over again, she'll jump over another time, but then she'll have to double back, so she gets two at that end and I get two at the very start. So basically it's just making the even amount of jumps per person for the 40 seconds, all right? So that's exercise number one. Exercise number two, if you've got anything lying around at home that's quite easily sort of grab, I'll probably say like, I don't know, a football or a cushion maybe, anything that you can basically pass between you that's not too heavy, then what we're gonna do is a partner sit up with an object pass. So we've gone for a sandbag in our case, so a four kilo sandbag. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna face each other in the setup position. And I'm probably saying whoever's got the stronger abs should hook their legs to the other side of the other person's feet around the heels just so then the person with the legs inside can get the support from that person so they can kind of got like an anchor when they go sitting up and going down. So starting with whatever object you've got, both start back in the setup position with their hands behind the head. And we're both going to sit up at the same time, we're going to pass it, go back down, and continuously pass the item. Good. So, exercise number two, partner sit up pass. So whatever you've got at home, it's pretty easy, as I said, to, uh, to pass between you. Obviously the heavier it is, the more challenging it is. So you don't go for something ridiculously heavy that you can't even do a set up with, because then it's just pointless. Okay, so that's exercise number two. Number three is going to be your upper body one. So this is going to be mainly focusing on the shoulders, a little bit above the chest. So what you're going to do is you're going to get in front of each other in a high plank position. Once you're here comfortably, you're both going to tap with your left hand to start with, your right shin. So you're going to carve into a pipe, tap that right shin, and then you're going to bring the same arm forward and do a side high five if you like. So it will look like this in motion. So tap, left, tap, left, tap, left, good, perfect. And then obviously what we'll do is we'll swap for the right hand, so halfway through 20 seconds, let's go for the right hand. So right hand is going to touch the left chin and continuously come down and snap, good, relax. So 20 seconds piece on that one, obviously so you're changing the arm and obviously you're going to be changing the leg that you're tapping as well so you get a good break. Um, but that was mainly shoulders focused, so upper body. So there you go. You've got your plyometric legs one with the jumping and the constant movement. You've got the passing sit up one, so giving a little bit of resistance with whatever object you've got. And then finally, to finish off, you've got sort of plank with high plank pipe shin tapping. I haven't really got a name for it, but that's pretty much what it is. Just when you're in that position, so starting position wants to be nice and high. Okay, and then when you come back, really try and get that bike and keep these legs straight. Obviously, I understand hamstrings might be a bit tight, so try, try to keep, try to not let them bend when you go back. So even if you can't reach down to say the bottom of your shin, I mean I'm not very flexible, so I can only reach to about midway. Just try and keep those legs straight as you come out and tap the other person's hand. So three exercises, second round, second little circuit. So we're going to start with that plank partner sort of box or ski jump. So 40 seconds. In three, two, one. So as quick as you can with this one, guys. As soon as that other person is down on the plank, you're going to jump in and switch in the position. And back up. Good. 
Yeah, the car point three. Fifteen seconds. Last ten. be intense the whole time in the high plank as well. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very good partner exercise. So we'll take another 30 seconds, 40 seconds. Heart rate should still be pretty high. Feeling all right? If breathing gives it away, obviously, like on a serious note. If you are blowing out, then you're doing exactly what you should be for this type of exercise, this type of hit training, this type of fat burning exercise. You want to be pretty much unable to speak by the end of it, um, and that's how you know you've got your heart rate high enough in order to start stimulating burning the fat. So, 15 seconds. Take some deep breaths in. You're right. Yes. To be fair, she is an absolute, absolute soldier because she's been already through an hour worth of PT. We've already done kickboxing for half an hour, some heavy squatting, some pull-ups, as well as some cheeky isolation stuff at the end. And now she's saying to do this with me for half an hour, so we got. Anyway, last round. In three, two, 
One, that's good. So do the dynamic ones, which we're going to show you now first. 
and then go into the static ones just to really just continue stretching off and finish. So what we're going to do is very, very gently, we're going to bring the opposite leg up to the opposite arm and we're just going to give a gentle kick out in front, swap the legs and the arms. So gently pick up, you don't have to keep the legs straight on this one, just gently kick and you should feel that pull a little bit on the hamstring but it's just going to be enough just to keep loose because obviously after the hit that we've done everything's going to be quite tight. We've worked really really intense, lots of power exercises. So three, two, one, okay, last kick, good. So now I want you to bring legs double shoulder width and all we're going to do is do opposite arm to opposite leg toe touches like this and with the other arm that's not touching the toe, just bring it sort of behind the back. So again, a little bit more hamstrings on this one, also a little bit of glute activation as well, which we'll definitely use with that squatting at the beginning. So three, two, one, okay good, come up. So now just to loosen off upper body, especially shoulders, so all the planking, especially that last one. I'm just going to gently rotate the arms. So just go for about 15 seconds backwards. Start to really shrug those shoulders up as well, loosen the traps off a bit. And now forwards, so in front of you. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now gently just relax where you are. And what you're going to do is twist the torso and let the arms naturally just flow around. Just finish off with loosening up the core a bit. It's going to be done a lot of core with everything, even the upper body exercises. See the different types of planks. Um, when it's squatting to some extent, it's always going to be using the core to help your posture, to help balance, stability, everything. So just go for five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Now completely relax. If you do want to do any more stretches, if you do know of any more static ones that you want to do, please do feel free to do um, sort of five, ten minutes more if you do feel quite achy. Um, but otherwise, that is the end of the Never Winter episode six. Um, massive thank you to Marina for being put through this, um, especially after a, especially after an hour of PT session, um, and then going on to do more to do more hit, to do more training. Um, you know, is just fantastic. So I'm definitely indebted to her. Um, so yes, and that's the, the end of it. So next episode, I'm really going to try and do one outside. Um, I did mention a couple of weeks ago about doing one back in Kent. Um, to by the coast, but obviously weather isn't great now. I'm going to try and do something that's a bit more outdoorsy. So if you are still training outside, because I'm still training people outside, um, I can show you some really simple things to do. If you say go through your local park or um, I don't know down to the seafront or wherever you've got promenade, or really just anywhere that you might go out and you think, oh, I could do some with do some outdoor exercise. Um, it's still definitely doable in winter. Um, so I'm going to try and try and get an outdoor workout done for you. Otherwise, that's the end. Um, so thanks very much for tuning in so far. If you are following this program, if you are finding that you're getting results from it, please comment. Um, please subscribe to the channel as well if you do like it. As I said, other videos are going to come. Uh, but for now, lean over when it's the focus. So hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.